one thing that I never thought I would be doing is being the person that is like, I'm gonna go buy a flat iron and record it because people care. I know that nobody cares. Um, I used to look at people that would be like, oh, go shopping with me. Like, first of all, Karen, nobody cares about you shopping at Target, all right? So here I am, I understand that I'm now the dumb person that's shopping at Target with my phone and recording it. So I just wanna put that out there, okay? I understand that I'm the dumb person now, whatever. Okay, so I wanted to do this video because I have to get a new flat iron and I wanted to start off at Target because I know not everybody's going to have access to go to a beauty supply store, um, a professional beauty supply store. I'm not talking about Sally's. So I wanted to start off at Target because everybody loves Target and I wanted to check out and see what options they have there that might be more affordable. And I highly doubt that I'm going to get a flat iron from here but I might be surprised at what I see um and then I'm gonna go over to the Cosmoprof beauty supply store and then we'll check out what they have there also look at the parking lot there's not really like hi there's not really a lot of people here so normally I'd park like as far away as I can because I just got my new car and uh I do not want people dinging it and so I parked like up close because there's not a lot of people here but people are starting to roll in and let me tell you i will be so mad if i come up to my car and see a ding on it watch your doors karen So I've heard a lot of good things about this styling line, but personally, I just feel like if it's not Paul Mitchell or Chi, I'm just not going to be like, that's the first thing I'm going to gravitate towards. But I will say that right here, I am impressed how the plates line up. That's actually really, really good. As for some of these ones, I just would not have this for my work for like the longevity of it. The Chi ones, I'm surprised to see how great of a sale that is, honestly. Um, but some of these other ones, I feel like these would be a little bit too cheap for work. And this one right here would actually be the one that I would pick. I was a little let down that I couldn't actually pull it out of the box and look at it. But um, Chi's a good brand too. So I just got done at Target and it was a successful trip. Not the fact that I found what I was looking for, but the fact that I didn't buy 500 random pieces of crap that I don't need, which as all of us moms know, that's a success in itself. At the beauty supply now, and I've gotta be honest, I don't wanna spend $200 on a flat iron. So that's gonna take some of the higher end options out of my list. But there are some really good other options at a lower price point, so we're going to check them out and see what we can find. So here's the Neuro Smooth, and I guess the plates are a little bit different of a titanium, and then also it gets to 450 versus 410. But I don't really like right here how the plates clamp close. They don't really close evenly right in that area there. So I'm not really thrilled about this option. And this is my bad boy that I've had for the last 10 years, my flat iron that has lasted forever. And obviously it's been updated. I can see right there that it closes really nicely. I don't have to worry about it pulling on the hair. So this only heats up to 410, but really who needs 450? Nobody, that's gonna fry your hair, stop it. So pretty sure that I'm not gonna get any of these other options. I haven't heard the best from them. So I'm gonna go with my Paul Mitchell. I just got home from getting my flat iron. I ended up going with the same flat iron that I've had for the past 10 years, the Paul Mitchell flat iron. The reason I chose to stay with this flat iron is honestly because I've had it for so long, like literally like 10 years and I've never, I've never been unhappy with it. I've loved it. It lasted a really long time. Um, I've had Chi flat irons too, and I just, I don't know. I have one at my house and I just didn't really wanna go with my Chi. I don't really like 
that you can't really set the temperature on it. So um, another thing is when I pulled out the Paul Mitchell flat irons because there was between two of them that I was looking at, um, I didn't like how the plates on one of them didn't match up evenly. And the thing with that is when you're like doing curls or just flat ironing in general, um, if it doesn't clamp evenly and there's space between the plates on one side and the other side clamps down, then it kind of tends to pull the hair. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. See how when I close the plates like equally are shut where sometimes like at the top of the flat iron it won't be closed all the way and clamped down and then that kind of pulls on the hair so this is the flat iron that i decided to go with i'm really excited to have this again it's a little bit different than i think my older version which you know updates but one thing that i just decided that i'm just gonna go with the same old one that i've always had and I kind of wish that it would have gone with something different because I wanted to be cool and like pick out something different, neat, what, whatever. But just go with the same old thing that you know that works great. So I'm excited that I have it because literally I've been so annoyed with having to stand there for like five minutes trying to figure out like where the cord's going to drop, where I need to adjust the cord for it to like register that it's plugged in. So anyways... I'm excited to finally have my new flat iron. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time. I know this wasn't too informational on the different products, but if you do have any questions, please ask and I'll be sure to get back to you.